नमो विष्णु पादाय कृष्णा प्रेष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामीने इति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी सौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाशत देश तारिणी जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन राधारमन हरि गोविंद जय जय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा गिरधारी राधा गिरधारी राधे जय राधा गिरधारी राधा गिरधारी राधे जय राधा बाक बिहारी राधा बाक बिहारी राधे जय राधा मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन राधे जय राधा गोपीनाथ राधा गोपीनाथ राधे जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बलदेवा जय सुभद्रा जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बलदेवा जय सुभद्रा जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी नयन पथ गामी भव तुम्हें जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी 
नयन पथ गामी भव तुम जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय जय प्रभुपाद 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 जय जय प्रभुपाद 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 जय गौर हरि बो हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल प्रभु पाद की जय निताई गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल जय राधा माधव कुंज जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवरधारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभ यशोदनांदन ब्रज जन रंजन वासुदेवाय 
नारायणम नमस्कृत्य नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय उदीरएत नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु भागवत सेवय भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी ओम ज्ञानति मीरांदश ज्ञानंजन शलाक्य चक्षुर उन्मील ये नस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मेय ददाति स्वापदातिक वंदेह श्री गुरु श्रीयुत पद कमल श्री गुरो वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जात सह गना रघुनाथता सहजीव साधवैत सवधूत पर्जना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधाकृष्ण पाद सह गना ललिता श्री विशाखान्वितांश नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकलतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण वेलकम एवरी वन इन भगवत गीता क्लास सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन रिवाइज द समरी ऑफ चैप्टर वन टू चैप्टर फोर सो टुडे वील सी चैप्टर फाइव In chapter four, we have seen how Lord Krishna reveals the transcendental knowledge. So, what is the conclusion that Krishna commands Arjuna to destroy his doubts by spiritual knowledge? So, Krishna has given Arjuna to divine knowledge, transcendental knowledge. So, that knowledge works like as a weapon for Arjuna and. Arjuna has so many doubts inside his mind. So now Krishna is suggesting, "Oh Arjuna, whatever knowledge I have given you just now, what you can do, you can use this knowledge as a weapon, and you can kill all your doubts, because these doubts are demon, and if you keep demon inside or near to you, they will kill you, they will destroy you." so before they destroy they destroy to you you can kill them demons are not something which you can keep with you you near to you close to you okay so that's why uh, lord krishna gave transcendental knowledge and commands ordered arjuna oh arjuna by this transcendental knowledge now you can kill your doubts okay so this was the chapter 4 and we have seen summary of chapter 4 now we'll see chapter 5 so as a synopsis point of view we'll see what is 
Krishna. What is the chapter 5 in there? In chapter 4, Lord Krishna reveals transcendental knowledge. The Lord telling Arjuna that all kind of sacrificial work culminates in knowledge. So whatever sacrifice you perform, whatever pious activities you perform, you get the transcendental knowledge. You get knowledge, such a knowledge that you can progress in devotional service. Lord Krishna is saying, Dadami Buddhi Yogam Tam. The one who tries his best for devotional service to get transcendental knowledge, I give them chance to come with me, to come near to me, to come close to me, to come my abode. So the Lord is telling Arjuna that all kinds of sacrificial work culminates in knowledge. Krishna, Krishna glorifies, glorifies jnana and speaks of action in action and in action in action. So Krishna also speaks about what is action in, in action and what is inaction in action. Okay. So what, what are the different do's and don'ts? So Krishna explains Arjuna all these action and inaction. Then Bhagavad Gita in 4.41, it is said, Krishna also, he glorifies jnana and renunciation. In Bhagavad Gita, 4.41 sloka, number, chapter number 4.41 sloka, Krishna also glorifies jnana and renunciation. What is jnana? What is renunciation? What is the actual meaning of renunciation? So, what is the actual meaning of renunciation? When you give up the material things. When you give up the fruits of action, whatever activity you are performing in material life, that is jnana, that is the a actual renunciation. Actual renunciation is not that you leave your house and go to forest and meditate over there. No, actual meaning of renunciation is that you renunciate the fruits of action, fruits of your activity. Don't expect over the fruits from action. Whatever fruits, whatever result you get from your activity, you just offer it to Krishna. Krishna will sanctify it and give it back to you. Krishna is not taking anything from you. Whatever, whatever there is dosha, there is contaminated, contamination, it will be eliminated by Lord Krishna. Then in Bhagavad Gita 4.42, Lord Krishna says, armed with yoga, oh Arjuna, stand and fight. So Krishna has given jnana and knowledge and renunciation. What is the meaning of renunciation? Explain to Arjuna. Now Krishna is saying, Oh Arjuna, armed with yoga. Yoga means attaching to Krishna. Yoga. Yoga means attaching to Krishna. Stand and fight. So whatever activity you are going to do, you just concentrate on me. So, no Never ever sinful reaction will touch you. If you offer your fruits of action to me, if you are thinking about me when you are working, you are keeping in, me in center, no sinful reaction never ever will touch you. So what is Arjuna understanding? Renunciation in knowledge involves cessation of all kinds of work performed as Science activities. Work and renunciation appears to be incompatible to Arjuna at this point of time. So Arjuna thinks that renunciation means going to forest, meditate over there. But this is not renunciation. This is not actual renunciation. The actual renunciation in work itself, fruits of action. So, renunciation is not going away from work. Renunciation going away from the fruits of action. But Arjuna is understanding about that. Whether you work in the material life, then it is not renunciation. And renunciation means going to forest and meditating over there. Chanting Hare Krishna Mahamant, just sitting in forest. Leaving everything, your family, responsibility, society, everything. Whenever, when your society... Uh, actually need, needs you. There are uh, adharma everywhere and you, being as a Kshatriya, you should uh, give something society. 
you should improve the society you should eliminate the contaminate those who are contaminating the society so when actually you are needed in the society you want to leave the society just to go forest and you are saying that this is a renunciation this was the understanding of arjuna but actually this is not actual renunciation so what is actual renunciation renunciation from the fruits of activity renunciation from the result of action okay so that is the main difference between devotee and non devotee devotee and non devotee both are there in material life but devotee has faith on krishna devotee has surrendered fully unto the lotus feet of krishna and whatever activity he is performing the result of fruits of action are offered to krishna so what happens what is the result of this activity no sinful reaction will touch you never ever understanding what arjuna lacks walk in full knowledge devotional service is non reactive and is therefore the same as in action okay so arjuna uh, lord krishna has explained very carefully the difference between action in in action and in action in action okay so what are the different do's and don'ts when you are performing activity then in chapter 5 that is karma yoga action in krishna consciousness so whatever activity you are performing keep in center krishna karma yoga means attaching your karma to krishna concentrating on krishna while doing activity offering your results of action to lord krishna that is karma yoga so chapter 5 begins with arjuna asking question which is better work in devotion or renunciation of work itself so krishna uh, lord arjuna uh, arjuna is asking to lord krishna what is better work in devotion or renunciation of work this but obvious work in devotion is better so lord krishna is explaining in the next verse what is the importance of work in devotion so lord krishna explains in details the process of achieving liberation through process of karma yoga okay so lord krishna is saying by performing karma yoga you can be liberated so he explains very beautifully lord krishna explains very beautifully beautifully how you can act in karma yoga what is the objective of karma yoga okay so by performing karma yoga you can be liberated okay nishkam karma is equal to but easier than renouncing work okay so nishkam karma means you don't expect any result from the karma is equal to but easier than renouncing work okay if you renounce work it is very difficult renouncing work is very difficult whereas nis by performing nishkam karma it is easier it is better than so nishkam karma is better or is equal to and easier than renouncing work this kam karma perform activity in knowledge with detachment of fruits of work so what is this kam karma you can perform the same activity which are performed by the material people those who are living fully absorbed in material life so you are performing same activity but they expect the fruits of action the those who are living in material life but the one who is not detached don't expect any result from the action the, don't expect the fruits of action so that is the only difference in kam karma and uh, ordinary karma kanda okay the people those who are performing ordinary karma kanda so they are working for themselves they will earn lot of money they will enjoy then they, they will they will go to theater movie bollywood hollywood tollywood so many places club so many places are there for them to enjoy but, but those who are performing nishkam karma for them what is the place to enjoy they will enjoy in the service of krishna they will fulfill the desire of krishna 
and instead of fulfilling their own desire, they will fulfill the desire of Krishna. The platform of knowledge, entanglement, knowing the three doers, the soul, material nature and the super soul. So these are the three doers, soul, material nature and the super soul. Okay, so if you don't know all these things, you will be entangled into the material hanger. You will be hankering behind the material life, material things. But if you know very well the difference between these three doers, the soul, material nature and super soul. These three are the three doers. Okay, you should understand the meaning of, you should understand the meaning of soul, material nature and the super soul. Who is super soul? Super soul is Paramatma. What is soul? Soul is Atma. Material nature, Prakriti. So these three are the doers of all activity. Liberation through focusing one's consciousness on the super soul. Super soul. So though those who concentrate on super soul, because super soul is inside, Atma and Paramatma both resides in our heart. Okay. So we have to concentrate on Paramatma. Soul should concentrate on super soul. Okay. So, liberation through focusing one's consciousness on the super soul. So, if you are focusing on the super soul, you will be auto automatically relieved from the fruits of action. Liberation through Ashtanga Yoga. For by performing uh, eight yoga asanas, Ashtanga Yoga, that is called Ashtanga Yoga, you can be liberated. So, any kind of sacrifice is for Krishna. If you are performing any kind of sacrifice, it is for Krishna. It is yoga. Yoga means what? Attaching to Krishna. If you are not performing any sacrifice, any yoga, you are not going to attach with Krishna. And if you are not going to attach with Krishna, you will be automatically attached to material life. You will be hankering behind the material things. Okay. There are so many and you will never get peace in your life. Peace formula on the platform of liberation. So what is the peace formula? Performing service onto the lotus feet of Krishna. Chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So if you are performing devotional service, you will be chanting Hare Krishna Mahaman 24 hours a day, 24 hours, 7 days, 365 in a year. So, that is the actual devotional service and follow the four regulative principles. Follow the four regulative principles. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling, no meat eating. So, they follow the these four rules and regulations chant Hare Krishna Mahamant regularly. 16 rounds, Prabhupada says, if you are chanting 16 rounds, I will be responsible for your liberation. I will bring you to the Krishna's abode one day. Other Acharyas, however, other Acharyas have su suggested more rounds, but, but Srila Prabhupada is so merciful about the devotees that he has taken guarantee of taking uh, to, to taking devotees to the abode of Lord Krishna. So Lord Krishna, uh, Srila Prabhupada is so merciful. He is more merciful than Krishna also. So devotees are more merciful. So if you associate with devotees, there are 101 percent chances of liberation. Then in chapter 5, there are different sections. We have section A to F. From uh, 5.1 to 5.29, there are 29 slokas in uh, chapter 5. So, section A talks about 5.1 to 5.6. Niskam karma is equal to but easier than renouncing work. So, Srila Prabhupada is saying, Lord Krishna is explaining that Niskam karma is easier than renouncing work. Okay, so we will try to understand what is Niskam Karma and what is the renouncing work. 
then in section b 5.7 to 5.12 the performance of nishkam karma working with detachment what is nishkam karma working with detachment how you can perform then in section c 5.13 to 5.16 the platform of knowledge entanglement knowing the three doers the soul material nature and the super soul the three doers of the activity the soul material nature and super soul then in section d talks about 5.17 to 5.26 liberation through focusing one's consciousness on the super soul okay so one who concentrate on super soul will be liberated then section e 5.27 to 5.28 liberation through ashtang yoga then talks about 5.27 to 5.28 about ashtang yoga then 5.29 final shloka of chapter 5 peace formula on the platform of liberation okay so what is the formula of peace how you can get peace how you can surrender unto the sir, lotus feet of krishna and you can be liberated so these are the different sections then we'll see the summary section of 5.1 to 5.6 this kam karma is equal to but easier than renouncing work so uh, in shloka number 1 2 arjuna again asked krishna whether renunciation is superior to working in devotion krishna replies the devotional work is superior to the renunciation of work and that one who is detached from the result of his work is the one who is truly renounced what krishna is suggesting never ever renounce your work work in devotion so what you have to give up you have to give up the desire of fruits of action okay so you have to detach from that if you are detached from that the work in devotion is easier than renouncing of work then point 4 to 6 shloka number 4 to 6 although the results of renunciation and devotional service are ultimately the same devotional service is superior for the devotee devotional service is superior for the devotee for the devotee can quickly achieve krishna so those who are performing in de- de- performing devotional service performing devotional service is easier than renouncing work renouncing of work is not that much easier it is actually difficult because we all have got stomach so we have to feed our stomach we have to perform some material activity so what lord krishna is saying you cannot renounce from work it is not that much easy if you can do it is okay but it is very very difficult but if you perform work in devotion that is easier so lord krishna is suggesting something which is practical lord krishna never suggests which is impractical so of karma yoga action in krishna consciousness verse number 1 we'll see verse number 1 what krishna what is the doubt of arjuna and then what is the in the next verse we'll see what is the answer of krishna 5.1 arjun uvach sanyasam karmanam krishna पुनर्योगम च संससी यच्छ्रेय एतयोरेकम तन्मे ब्रूहि सुनिश्चितम अर्जुन सेड ओ कृष्णा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू आस्क मी टू रिनाउंस वर्क एंड देन अगेन यू रिकमेंड वर्क विथ डिवोशन नाउ विल यू काइंडली टेल मी डेफिनेटली व्हिच ऑफ द टू इज मोर बेनिफिशियल ओ कृष्णा ओ लॉर्ड कृष्णा ओ supreme lord first you tell me that renouncing of work then you tell me work in devotion so krishna i am confused i am confused i am the surrendered soul unto you now so please remove my doubts remove my confusion that 
whether work in devotion is better or renouncing of work is better so chapter 5 talks about work in devotion work in devotional service so arjuna asks what is better more beneficial work or renunciation whether i should renounce and go to the forest and chant hari krishna mahamantra there meditate on krishna meditate on supreme lord unto the lotus feet of krishna or i should be here and work in devotion okay so work in devotional service is better than dry mental speculation okay so krishna is saying that work in devotional service is far far better than dry mental speculation so work in devotional service is a transcendental knowledge work in devotional service is a transcendental knowledge work in devotional service can only be performed by transcendental knowledge the one who has transcendental knowledge can perform devotional service and it frees one from reaction <clears throat> devotional service frees one from reaction no sinful reaction will touch you and it is easier than dry speculation in dry speculation you may be bewildered there are chances of bewildering but if you are performing devotional service if you are performing the process of devotional service there are so many stages in performing devotional service but even if you are at stage 1 2 you are at the right path at some day you will go to the step 3 step 4 step 5 and you will be 100% devotional service so it is easier there are no chances of falling down but if you are in dry speculation dry mental speculation there are chances of falling down it is very dangerous okay then in chapter 2 lord krishna chapter chapter 2 talks about explains preliminary knowledge of soul and its entanglement in the material body okay so what is the soul what is the body so body is covering soul so body is the cover of soul body is protecting soul although no one can kill soul and soul cannot kill anyone so soul never kills anyone and soul cannot be killed by anyone okay so chapter 2 talks about preliminary knowledge of soul and its uh, entanglement in the material body so how to get out of this by buddhi yoga or devotional service so how can you can get out of the entanglement of this kind of entanglement by buddhi yoga by devotional service if you are following the devotional service even if you are by mistake you are performing some sinful activity that activity that sinful reaction will never touch you it doesn't mean that by you by by one hand you perform devotional service another hand you start performing sinful activity no it it is not allowed okay so even if you by mistake you perform some sinful activity sinful reaction will not touch you okay then in chapter 3 it talks about person who is situated on the platform of knowledge no longer has any duties to perform So chapter 3 talks about the one who has knowledge the one who is on the platform of knowledge now what is knowledge what is knowledge knowledge about absolute truth that absolute truth is the supreme controller and the entire worldly nature the entire spiritual world the entire material world belongs to krishna belongs to everything belongs to krishna aham sarvasya prabho matta sarvam pravartate so lord krishna is saying everything belongs to me then what is the thing that you are proud of nothing belongs to you everything belongs to me everything by manifest 
and unmanifest by me. It is manifested by me and it is by my unmanifested into me. Finally. So what is the thing that you are proud of? Nothing belongs to you. So what you have to do, what is our duty, we have to work for to fulfill the desire of Krishna. We have to work according to Krishna. That's what Krishna is trying to explain Arjuna. Oh Arjuna, you don't think. Whatever I am ordering you, instructing you, you just follow that. You are not killing your kinsmen. Actually you are not killing me. I have already killed them. Now you just become my Nimitta Matram. You are my devotee. Oh Arjuna, I want to give you credit. My pure devotees give credit to me and I give credit to them. This is the job I do. So Lord Krishna is explaining, Oh Arjuna, I have already killed them. Actually you are not killing them. They have already, they are already dead. So, don't take any pressure, any tension, any headache of killing them, your kinsmen. I have already killed them. You just get up and armed with yoga and fight. So this is the order is uh, given by Lord Krishna to Arjuna. So person who is situated on the platform of knowledge no longer has any duties to perform. Okay. So the one who is in absolute knowledge, the who knows about the absolute truth, he has no duty to perform. Then chapter 4 talks about all kinds of sacrificial work culminate in knowledge. Even if you perform one, even if you perform one sacrifice, it culminates in knowledge. That knowledge is known as transcendental knowledge. So if you have transcendental knowledge, it means never ever any doubt will come into you. The one who has doubt, they have demon, demon inside. And that demon will kill, kill one day. Will finish, will destroy everything. All hopes. No hope. With, if the doubt is there, so doubt is more dangerous. Never ever doubt on Krishna. Never ever doubt on devotees. Never ever doubt on devotional service. Never ever doubt on deities. Never ever doubt on pious activity. Those who are performing pious activity have faith. Even if you cannot perform, have faith. Support those who are doing it. Slowly, slowly it will purify you and you will be start doing the same thing. So in this way we can purify our life. That is very important. That is very important. So all kinds of sacrificial work culminate in knowledge. So even if you perform a small amount of sacrifice, somewhere it will be there in your mind, in your heart, in your body that you have performed sacrifice. So by that sacrifice will give you a right knowledge. And using that right, right, right knowledge, you will be liberated. Slowly, slowly, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, it will increase. And it will purify your entire body, your entire mind, your entire heart. Your soul will be purified. Because then your soul, your soul can merge with super soul. Soul can understand super soul. Atma can understand Paramatma. Okay. However, at the end of the fourth chapter, the Lord advised Arjuna to wake up and fight. So, being situated in perfect knowledge, being situated in perfect knowledge, now Lord Krishna is saying, I have given you transcendental knowledge. Now, you have a very big weapon. Now, you use that weapon to kill your doubt, stand and fight. Armed with yoga and fight. Lord Krishna is saying armed with yoga. Yoga means have faith on me. Yoga attaching to Krishna. So this is the. So Lord Krishna has confused by simultaneously stressing the importance of both work in devotion and in action in knowledge. 
So if you have action, if you have knowledge and you are not performing pious activity, it is as good as you don't have. You don't possess the knowledge. You, you are not eligible to have that particular knowledge. So if you have knowledge, perform devotional service. Have faith on absolute truth. Kill your all demons inside with this transcendental knowledge and start performing devotional service. If you perform devotional service, common people will follow you. Okay? So, renunciation in knowledge involves cessation of all kinds of work performed at sense activities. Work and renunciation appears to be incompatible to Arjuna at this point of time. Okay, so this is the Arjuna's understanding. Lacks by what? Work in full knowledge. Devotional service is non-reactive and is therefore same as inaction. Okay, so if I am performing with transcendental knowledge, so Arjuna is thinking renunciation is good. Why to kill all these persons? For my benefit, after killing them, I am going to get the kingdom, I will enjoy. But how will I enjoy if my family members are not there? To whom I will share my enjoyment? So this is the, this is the doubt. This is the demon inside you. So Krishna has given transcendental knowledge in chapter 4. So Krishna is saying, oh, Krishna, oh Arjuna, I have given you transcendental knowledge. Now armed with yoga and fight. So what you have to do? Using that transcendental knowledge, kill your doubt in the form of demon. And stand with yoga. Stand with yoga means what? You have trust on me. You have keep faith on me. Whatever sinful activity you are going to perform, sinful reaction will not touch you. So that is the guarantee given by Krishna. Armed with yoga, stand and fight. You have faith on me, you do your activity, you do your karma. No sinful reaction will touch you. This is the sum, summum and bonum of chapter 4. Then verse number 2. Karma yoga, action in Krishna consciousness, verse number 2. So renunciation of work and work in devotion, both good for liberation but devotional service is better than renunciation okay so if you have if you don't have transcendental knowledge and you are renouncing work it is very very dangerous so krishna is telling that if you don't have knowledge and what is the knowledge knowledge jnana about absolute truth is knowledge knowing absolute truth is knowledge, is the only knowledge. Otherwise, you have demon, you have pride inside you and that, these are in the form of demon, will destroy your life. So, you have faith on Krishna. If you have faith on Krishna, this is the transcendental knowledge. It means you know who Krishna is, who is supreme controller. Whatever happening, activity happening in this entire planet, including material world, spiritual world, is by the will of Krishna. Okay. So, verse number 2, 5.2. Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, Sanyasa Karma Yogascha, Nisreyas Karavubha, Tayostu Karma Sanyasa, Karma Yoga Vishishyate. The personality of Godhead replied, the renunciation of work and work in devotion are both good for liberation. Both of the two, work in devotional service is better than renunciation of work. So, Lord Krishna is saying that work in devotion is better than renouncing work. It is very, very difficult to renounce work. Even if you go to renounce your work and go to the forest, sit there and meditate on Krishna, your mind will divert. Because you have, by so many lives, in so many species, 84 lakh species, 
84 million species are there. You have spent in so many species of 84 million, in so many uh, birth and death. It is very difficult to come out of that nature because it is a nature. It is a nature. If you take a dog, it has a nature. If you take an animal, it has a nature. If you take a particular bird, they have a nature. If you take a particular human, they have a nature. In, in human itself, we have so many kinds of human. It is not like we are on, on the only human. There are different kinds of humans. humans. Even chandals are there, are there also human. Okay. So, we have got nature. The one who has got chandals nature. They have nature they, and they, one day they think that I will go to forest and I will meditate on Krishna there because I am, if I am in the material world, I am chandal. I cannot do the work. I, I cannot concentrate on Krishna. Okay, so even without getting the transcendental knowledge, without knowing about the absolute truth, even a chandal go to forest, how can a chandal can live his nature? So by nature, so it, it becomes a dry mentalist, dry speculation dry mental speculation. So, dry mental speculation will not liberate you, will never ever liberate you. Okay. So, uh, in verse number 2, it is said that Krishna is explaining that both are good, work in devotion and renunciation of work, both are good. But, devotional service is easier than renunciation. Okay. So, what are the different paths of actions? Fruity action and action in Krishna consciousness. So, if you are acting in Krishna consciousness, you do not desire the fruits of action. But if you are in material life, you are hankering behind the sense enjoyment. So, fruity actions binds one in cycle of birth and death. Fruitive action binds one in the cycle of birth and death. Okay, so if you are working just to have some benefit out of it, okay, so it causes the cycle of birth and death. So to act for sense gratification, not good since fruitive acts cause material bondage and transmigration. Each body temporary, each body is temporary, miserable, temporary and miserable. So, this body is temporary, this body is not permanent, soul is eternal, soul never takes birth and death, does not affect. So, birth and death is for body only, for soul, soul and super soul, these both are, they are both eternal, super soul is eternal. And soul is part and parcel of Krishna, part and parcel of super soul. So, if super soul is eternal, the part of super soul will also be eternal. So, that is why soul is eternal. So, failure of life if no inquiry about real identity. So, we have to understand the real identity, who I am, what for I am here in this material world. What is my activity? What should I do? What is my prime service? How can I avoid myself from the material hankering? Why this life has become miserable? There are so many questions. Ask question yourself. And Jnaninas Tattva Darsinaha Associate with Guru, Sadhu and Sastra, Spiritual Master Render service unto them, render service unto them and perform devotional service. So, this devotional service can save you from hankering of the material world. Okay. And so, if you are performing fruitive action, so these are the possibilities that you will be running behind the material sense enjoyment. And if you are performing actions in Krishna consciousness, that is called karma that is called karma yoga. What is karma yoga? Work in devotion. 
what is work in devotion performing act activity without desiring fruits of action so devotional service or action in krishna consciousness is the only way to get rid of material bondage or come out of cycle of birth and death okay so there is very uh, beautiful verse in uh, simad bhagavatam 5.5.4-6 Nunam pramatta kurute vikarma Yad indriya pritaya apranoti Na sadhu manne yat atmanoyam Asan apikleshuda asadeha Parabhavasata vad abodha jato Yamanna jigyasat Atmatatvam Yavat kriyas यावत क्रिया सतावद इदम मनोवे कर्मात्मकम येन शरीर बंध एवं मन कर्म व संप्रयुक्ते अविद्या अविद्यात्मनि उपधीयमाने प्रीति रिनायावन मयि वासुदेवे नामुच्यते देह योगेन तावत सो पीपल आर मैड आफ्टर सेंस गैटिफिकेशन and they do not know that this present body which is full of miseries is a result of one's fruitive activities in the past. Although this, this body is temporary, it is always giving one trouble in many ways. Therefore, to act for sense gratification is not good. You are getting, you are suffering. Then also you are go on performing the activity. So even if you are suffering from the sufferings, then also we keep on performing. So one is considered to be a failure in life as long as he makes no inquiry about his real identity. So you have to understand your real identity. What is your real identity? What for you are here? So. As long as he does not know his real identity, he has to work for fruity results for sense gratification. And as long as one is engrossed in the consciousness of sense gratification, one has to transmigrate from one body to another. Although the mind may be engrossed in fruity activities and influenced by ignorance, one must develop a law for devotional service to Vasudeva. Only then can one have the opportunity to get out the bondage of material existence. So what you have to do? You have to keep faith on Krishna. So only this faith will develop the transcendental knowledge. And using that transcendental knowledge, you can kill all your doubts in the form of demon. So, what is the only solution for material hankering? Develop love for devotional service to Vasudeva. So, action in full knowledge strengthens one's advancement in real knowledge. So, if you have knowledge, start getting knowledge about the absolute truth and start getting and identifying yourself. What is your identity? So, mere renunciation of fruitive action about Krishna consciousness does not purify the heart. Okay? Start getting the transcendental knowledge. Start getting the knowledge about Supreme Lord, Lord Krishna. Surrender unto the Lord, lotus feet of Krishna. So, path of renunciation, path of renunciation of actions, sannyasa, both are good for liberation. Jnana of spiritual identity. Dry speculation, renounce actions. So that is known as renouncing actions. Dry speculation means what? You are not performing any activity and you are just trying to concentrate on Krishna. So there are chances of falling down. Dry speculation is very dangerous. Because as long as you are concentrating on Krishna, it is good. But 
our mind is very much it has got very very high speed now it is here at the other moment it will be some somewhere in london okay so reaching physically to london is time consuming but mind automatically just wanders here and there within a second okay so dry speculation that's why sila prabhupada is saying krishna is saying that dry speculation is very very dangerous so one may think that action causes bondage therefore renounce action altogether if i perform activity it causes bondage so i will not perform any activity i will go to forest so this is also and i will do dry mental speculation that is also dangerous okay so unknown a fact that gyana of spiritual identity or dry renunciation is not sufficient for liberation one must act on the level of spiritual soul okay so only mere gyana that if i perform activity it will cause me the bondage so i will not perform activity i will renounce my work and go to forest so you have to work on the spiritual soul that the it is like atma and parmatma ka milan so you have to work on the basis of spirit soul rupa goswami says on renunciation bhakti rasam in sindhu 1.2.256 prapanchikataya buddhaya hari sambandhi vastu na mamokshu bi parityago vairagyam phalgu kathayate when persons eager to achieve liberation renounce things related to the supreme personality of god thinking them to be material their renunciation is called incomplete so if you are performing in a devotional service please be there stick to your activity stick to devotional service one day it will cause liberation but if you renounce work itself and go to the dry mental speculation that is very dangerous there are chances of 99% getting fall down because of our mind bewilderment so mind always bewilders us so what is incomplete renunciation okay so in sanskrit it is known as phalgu vairagya incomplete renunciation means phalgu vairagya renounce things related to supreme personality of god it thinking them material with desire for liberation renounce things related to supreme personality of god it so what do you think if i perform activity i will get entangled better not to perform activity go to forest to renounce things related to supreme personality of god head thinking them material with desire for liberation is very very dangerous 101 percent will fall down one day so performing devotional service is required do chanting hari krishna maha mantra every morning at least whatever time you get 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour one hour two hour whatever time you get once you rise in the morning do chanting and be away from four regulative principle follow the four regulative principles what are those illicit sex no intoxication no meat eating no gambling these are the four rules you have to follow four rules 16 rounds of chanting if you cannot initially go for 16 rounds of chanting you can start from one round two round four round six round and you can slowly you can increase till 16 rounds so prabhupad is so merciful he has given concession that you chant only for 16 rounds there are acharyas they have suggested go for 32 rounds 64 rounds minimum but prasila prabhupad has taken guarantee he is so merciful about his devotees his disciples he has given us a concession that at least chant 16 rounds and i am giving you guarantee i will take you to the vaikunth 
गोलोक बिंदावन धाम तो व्हाट इज कंप्लीट रिनेशिएशन युक्त वैराग्य एवरीथिंग बिलोंग्स टू सुप्रीम लॉर्ड कृष्णा युक्त वैराग्य सो इफ यू आर परफॉर्मिंग डिवोशनल सर्विस यू थिंक दैट इट इज ऑल बोगस सो दिस इज नोन है एंड आई विल गो टू फॉरेस्ट एंड गो फॉर द ड्राई मेंटल स्पेकुलेशन सो दिस दिस इज नोन एज फलगु वैराग्य वॉट इज युक्त वैराग्य इफ यू थिंक दैट एवरीथिंग बिलोंग्स टू कृष्णा वट एवर आई हैव आई विल यूज इट फॉर कृष्णा सर्विस वट एवर बिलोंग्स टू मी इट इज एक्चुअली बिलोंग्स टू कृष्णा सो दिस थिंकिंग इज नोन एज युक्त वैराग्य दिस इज नोन एज कंप्लीट रिनेशिएशन दिस इज नोन एज वर्क इन डिवोशन so understanding yukta vairagya and falgu vairagya so yukta vairagya is appropriate renunciation bhakti rasamay sindhu 1.2.255 anasaktasya visayan yatharham uh yunjatah nirbandha krishna sambandhe yuktam vairagyam uchyate So when when one is not attached to anything, but at the same time accept everything in relation to Krishna, one is rightly situated above possessiveness. So not accepting anything is not renunciation. Accepting it, but it is for Krishna. Use it for Krishna's service. That is yukta vairagya. So what is principle of yukta? It is shown, tell, told in Bhagavad Gita 6.15. Yukta har viharasya cha, viharasya yukta chetasya karma shu, yukta swapna, yukta swapna abodhasya yoga bhavati dukha. So he who is regulated in his habits of eating, sleeping, recreation, and work. can mitigate all material pains by practicing the yoga system so what you have to you have to regulate everything it is not practical to say that don't get married no it is not practical it is impractical okay so what you have to do you have to follow the varanasrama system for that purpose krishna has given us varanasrama system follow the varanasrama system okay so there are four varnas brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra four ashramas brahmachari grihasth vanaprastha sanyasi so these are the total eight four varna and four ashrama okay so this this is given by krishna you can live in the material life you can follow these varanasrama system and you will be liberated so lord chaitanya instructs tila rupa goswami at dashamegh ghat then what is the falgu vairagya improper renunciation also known as markat vairagya or samsan smasan samasan vairagya इन भक्ति लता में सिंधु वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट प्रपंचिकतया बुद्धय हरि संबंधी वस्तु नमोक्षु भी परित्याग वैराग्यम फलगु कथयते वेन पर्सन इगर टू अचीव लिबरेशन रिनाउंस थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेयर थिंकिंग देम टू बी मटेरियल देयर रिनाउंसिएशन इज कॉल्ड इनकम्प्लीट सो यो you stop doing devotional service you think that these are all material things that is falgu vairagya so sila prabhupad explains falgu vairagya river falgu dry sandy river bed finds water behith similarly a falgu vairagya appears renounced but underneath in his heart he nurtures a huge desire to become god 
that is called Fargo Vairag. If you, are, if you be, try to become God, that is for the part of Fargo Vairag. Sri Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur explains, monkeys renunciation not living naked in forest. One cannot be renounced until this testful with material activity. So, if you are going to forest, but you are attached to the material activity, oh, I want to eat jalebi, I want to eat samosa. So, you are, even if you are sitting in forest, if you are thinking about it, it is as good as you come in material life and have it, enjoy it. So, that is called dry in mental speculation. That is part of falgu vairaki. Sumasan Vairagya renunciation feelings in crematorium, returns home, again engages in sense enjoyment. So, Suska Vairagya, dry renunciation, told in Chaitanya Chaitamit Madhya Leela 23.105. Principles of renunciation are applied without consideration of time, place and circumstances. So, this is all about uh, verse number 1 and 2. So, we will see uh, verse number 3 next time. We will stop over here. If you have any question, you can ask. Okay, no question. So, we will stop over here. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Vansha Kalpata Rubhya Shakripa Sundubhya Yucha, Patita Nam Pauni Bhya Vaishnavya Namo Namo.